Hello everyone and happy Star Wars Day in 2021. I have a fun new crochet tutorial for you to do today um, for all of you glasses wearers out there. So first I just wanted to say May the 4th be with you. Um, as you can see I've got my Thrawn shirt on today uh, to celebrate and for those of you who haven't yet the latest Thrawn book actually just came out last week. So I just finished it last night. It's super, super good. Definitely worth the read. Um, this is the second book in the Thrawn Ascendancy series. Don't forget to hit that like button down below and also the subscribe button. Depending on which option you select, you can get notified of all of my future videos. So I have a real treat for you today. I don't know about you, but I struggle in the morning when I first wake up trying to find my glasses and I'm always ending up knocking them off my side table. It is a pain and no matter what I do, that's just always what happens. So the crochet pattern that I have for you today, um, I created so that you can just set your glasses directly on it and it's easy to come and go. And not to mention, it's Star Wars themed, the best thing in the world. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and this is what you'll need. So here is what you'll need. You'll need some green yarn for most of the project, some pink yarn for the inside of the ears, a 4 millimeter crochet hook, polyfill, two safety eyes are 21 millimeters, a yarn needle, and optionally three golf balls, and some black yarn. So you're going to start by making a magic ring, and then you're going to chain one to help solidify that ring. And then you're going to put 12 single crochets into the ring. When you're done with the 12 single crochets, you're going to pull the tail to close the magic ring and then you're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet. For the second row, you're going to chain one, do two single crochets in the first stitch, one single crochet in the second one, and you're going to repeat that pattern all the way around. When you reach the end of the row, you want to slip stitch it to the first stitch. For round three, you're going to chain one, do two single crochets in the first stitch, then put one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. You're going to uh, continue and repeat this around until you reach the end where you're once again going to slip stitch to that first single crochet.
For round four, you are going to start by chaining one, then putting two single crochets into that first stitch, and then putting one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. You're going to, once again, proceed to uh, repeat that around and join at the end. We are going to continue to increase for row five. So you're going to put two single crochets in the first stitch, then one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. And you're going to repeat this pattern around. And when you get back to the beginning of the row, then you will slip stitch to that first single crochet For row six, you are going to chain one, put two single crochets into the first stitch, and one single crochet into the next five stitches. Once again, you will repeat around, and then join with a slip stitch to that first single crochet you made. For round seven, you are going to start by doing one, chaining one, then put two single crochets into the first stitch, and then one single crochet in each of the next six stitches. You're going to repeat this pattern around, and then join with a slip stitch to the first uh, single crochet that you've made.
and then for row 8 you're going to chain 1, put 2 single crochets into that first stitch, then 1 single crochet into the next 7 stitches. You're going to once again repeat that pattern around and then join it with a slip stitch to, that, to the first uh, single crochet that you made. We're almost there guys, so for round 9 you're going to chain 1, 2 single crochets in the first stitch, and yes you're right, we're going to put 1 single crochet in each of the next 8 stitches. Going to repeat this around until you're back at the beginning and slip stitch to that first single crochet you've made. Yay, you finally made it to the last increase round. So for row 10, you're going to chain 1 and put 1 single crochet in the next 9 stitches. You're going to repeat that around and join like you've done before. And by the end of this row, you should have 66 stitches. And yes, it is 66 because of order 66. So for the next 10 rows, rows 11 through 21, you are putting one single crochet into every stitch around. For row 22, we are going to start our decrease. So you're going to start the row uh, with putting two single crochets together, then one single crochet in each of the next nine stitches. You're going to continue uh, that around, and when you reach the beginning of that row, then you're going to go ahead and join with a slip stitch and chain one.
decrease. For row 23, it is just one single crochet in each stitch around. When you get to the end, you're going to join it and then chain one. Decrease. So unfortunately I was having technical difficulties and didn't realize that my camera was not recording as I finished up the head uh, part, but it is just basically uh, repeating the same two rows over and over again. I'm doing a decrease each time with one less stitch in between and then uh, for all of the odd rows then it's just one single crochet in each stitch around. If you need extra help, then I have in the description a link to my website that has the written pattern um, to help you out a little bit more. When you get to row 32, um, that is where you do a single crochet decrease and then one single crochet in the next four stitches after that row uh, Then you want to go ahead and insert your eyes. I did uh, mine at the 20th row from the top so you can count from this the starting circle that we did and count down 20 rows um, and put them wherever you would like uh, mine are about 10 stitches in between each one and then you can go ahead and start to fill it with the polyfill. Um, I started out just with a little bit and then as I continued to close off the head I added more. Um, optionally you can, right before you close it up, you can add the three golf balls to the bottom of the head. This will help to hold it down and will make you less likely to accidentally knock it off of your nightstand. Um, and then when you get to the last row, row number 38, which is just a uh, single crochet decrease all the way around, then you want to take your yarn needle and weave it in one stitch and out the one beside it and keep doing that all the way around and then pull it tight and you will have finished your head portion. And then of course you want to zigzag the yarn so that it cannot uh, come undone. Okay, to start the ears, we're going to start with a slip knot, and then we are going to do 16 chains. Then for row one, we are going to put one single crochet in the second chain and then each one across. For the second row, we are going to chain one, and just like the row before, we are going to put one single crochet in each of the stitches.
from the project, chain 1 and do 1 single crochet in each stitch across and for the last 2 stitches do a single crochet decrease. Then do one single crochet decrease and then put one single crochet in each stitch across. Put one single crochet in each stitch across until you come to the last two and you want to do another decrease. For the last row, start with a decrease and then put one single crochet in each of the next stitches. Chain 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then you want to single crochet into the second chain and across. So 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. nine and ten and you want to chain one turn one single crochet in each of the ten stitches across Chain one and turn. You're going to do a single crochet decrease and then single crochet across.
chain one and turn. You want to single crochet in each of the next seven stitches. and then single crochet decrease in the last two stitches. Chain one and turn. Single crochet decrease in the first two stitches and one single crochet in each of the following stitches. Chain one, one single crochet in each of the next couple stitches. Then single crochet decrease in the last two. So now you want to, you can see that the edges are, are kind of rough. <clears throat> so we're going to take and uh, finish them up so they're looking nice. So chain one, and then we are going to do single crochets around the whole outside perimeter. When you see a corner, you're going to put three single crochets in there to help make that a nice corner before continuing on. This will not only help it to look polished, but will make it easier when joining to the green. So now we are going to continue on the un underside. And as I single crochet across, I'm actually going to go ahead and sew this in at the same time. That way it will save me a little bit of time later. Because this here at the point is an actual corner, we are still going to do the three single crochets in that last point. And then continue up the incline. And then you're just going to, when you get back up to that top corner, you're just going to slip stitch. And then take your scissors and we're going to. All right, so now if you remember, we did not cut this off of our yarn. So we are going to go ahead and attach these two pieces together. Now it is important to note that when you're doing the second one, it is important what side you do because you don't 
<laughs> you don't want them going the opposite way. So uh, you will need to go ahead and lay them out. That way you know that when they are put on the head, they're going to be going the same direction. So we're going to start by, I already chained one. So we're going to start by just single crocheting these two together. So just one single crochet in each of the stitches around. Okay, and because this is a corner, we are gonna go ahead and do three single crochets in there. Okay, and now we're going to do the bottom. And we are uh, gonna continue to do single crochets until we run out of the inside lining of the ear. So that was our last stitch with this peach color. So now until we reach this peach color up here at the top, we are just going to do uh, slip stitches. Yeah, uh, slip stitches just because we don't really want to add anything here. And this will just help to smooth out the edges of the ear. That finished look. Now that we are back at the top, we are going to resume doing single crochets until we reach the end.
put two single crochets in that corner and then slip stitch to that first single crochet. All right, we have our second ear. Let's move on to the nose. All right, so the last uh, part that we need to do is the nose. So you're going to take your green yarn again, and you are going to create a magic circle. single or chain one to keep it in place. And then you're going to put six single crochets into this ring. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then you're going to just pull on the tail to close up the ring. And then you want to slip stitch into that first single crochet. Then we are going to chain one and we are going to put two single crochets in each stitch around. As I do this, I am also going to start weaving in the tail. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Oops. okay, now six, <laughs> seven, eight, that one final tug then we are going to slip we're going to slip stitch it to that first single crochet to finish off the round chain one we're going to put two single crochets in this first one one single crochet in the next one and we're going to repeat that all around so two in the next one one in the following one two in the next one in the following one. Two in the next one. Oops. One in the following one. 
and then slip stitch into that first single crochet. So now we have this, and so now we want to start building like a cup. So we are going to chain one, and we are going to just do one single crochet in each stitch around. And then slip stitch into that first single crochet. Okay, so you see we have the start of a little cup. I'm going to do one more round of just straight single crochets. So, And you want to, of course, slip stitch into that first single crochet. Okay, so now before we finish this, I want to just start closing it a little bit. We're not going to close it all the way though. So we are going to chain one, do two uh, single crochets together or a single crochet decrease, one regular single crochet single crochet decrease regular single crochet single crochet decrease one regular single crochet single crochet decrease regular single crochet single crochet decrease, a regular single crochet, and then single crochet decrease, and then regular single crochet in that last one, and slip stitch two, first stitch and we have our nose. All right, so now we are going to do the ear part. Now I already did one of the ears so that you can see what it looks like. And so I will do the second one to show you exactly how it goes. So what I did was I counted from the top down 15 rows which is about this row right here. Um, and I wanna of course put them on each side so that when it's done, it will look like that. So which looks pretty even. So what you're going to do then is
if you'll remember when we did the ear we left quite a big tail so that we can weave in weave it in I'm going to try to get it so you guys can see. Okay. So that stitch, right where I have my marker there, that is where I want this top corner to go. So because this is already connected, I'm going to take my yarn needle, go pick up that stitch right where my marker's at. and pull it through. So now we have that, okay? So then we're going to take our needle then. So our thread is now on this side. We're going to feed it through the next stitch on the ear, pull it through, then, oops, then on the head, we're going to find the next stitch down and pick that up and you're just really going back and forth between picking up the next stitch of the ear and the next stitch of, or the next row down, I should say, of the headpiece. And because we have the two pieces for the ear, this will make the ear even stronger. So we won't have to worry about it giving under the pressure of the glasses. But also the nose piece that we did will also help with this as well. Once again, we're still just weaving back and forth between the two to help tighten that up a bit. And then I'm just going to take that last part just to completely secure it and run it through that same, in that same way. So there we go. We have our ears. Woo! Okay. So to finish it off, the ear part, so we're just going to tighten it, make sure it's as tight as it can go. And then we are going to... Do some zigzags and hide the yarn. Okay, and then just taking it back up this way. Perfect. All right, let's move on to the nose. All right, so one of the last finishing touches, of course, is his nose, which is going to help hold your glasses up. So you wanna make sure, of course, that you have that long tail. Um, you can take and honestly just push that inside. You don't even have to sew it in uh, because you are then going to add 
a little bit of polyfill inside the nose. Like that. Okay, so where we're putting this is right there, almost directly underneath the eyes. This will help to hold the bridge of your glasses up. So you can go ahead and take your yarn needle and okay. I think I'm gonna put it about there. That looks like about in the middle. Okay, so oops. I'm going to go ahead and go like that. So then really and truly, this is very, uh, very similar to the ears that we did. Do that, maybe tighten that up. Easier. Whoop easier to come at it from below. Okay, go like this, up, through the next stitch. Okay, down, up, through the next stitch. Like that and just keep going all the way around going to pick up a stitch as you bring it up, bring it through the two loops, pick up another stitch, bring it through that stitch on the nose. Make sure we got it all around. All right, we are done with the nose. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my glasses off here and you can get a little preview of what it will look like. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, and then just to finish up the nose, we of course want to get rid of this extra yarn. So we're just going to take and zigzag across the nose. You want to be careful not to pull it too tight because then we'll get low indentions in the nose and we don't, we don't want that. So like that. and then you can just clip it.
So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Once again, uh, don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button down below. I have some future content coming for you. Um, everything from crochet to cricket to sublimation, all that good stuff. Uh, so if you are interested in crafting, it's totally free to just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Um, and I guess that's it. Bye.